Hey there, it's Corey. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what you do next after you finish completing your first row of quilting. That's gonna be reposition. Before we do that, make sure you have rolled your quilt up far enough along with basting down your edges. We have completed our first row of quilting, and now I wanna take a look at rolling and repositioning the quilt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my machine, and I'm gonna find about midway of the quilt. It doesn't have to be perfect middle, but pretty close. And I'm gonna take my machine and set it on one of the lowest points in the quilted repeat. So right about here would be one of the lowest points, and I'm gonna set it right on top of there. You can use your laser light to be absolutely sure. You can turn your laser light on and place that right over the point. You're gonna leave your machine sitting there and head back over to the software. In the software, we're gonna be able to see that the bottom point, which is down here, does not match up with our crosshair, telling us we do need to do a reposition because we're done with this row. So I'm gonna to come to my reposition icon and I'm gonna follow my line, my vertical line of my crosshair down to that point, it's kind of a little bonus tip there, to the, the point on the last red row, so the most recent red row. And I can zoom in, I can see that line is not directly on top of that point, showing you there is a little bit of shifting in that quilt. So bonus for doing the little bit of variance that we had. Using the Align to Quilt feature, I'm gonna click the actual point of the design and then I'm gonna click on Apply. I'm gonna click on Done, and this is what we have. Now, I did this just to show you what would happen if you didn't roll the quilt up far enough. So this is just a little, uh, a little tidbit real quick before we actually trim the edges and get going. Let's say, for instance, you've trimmed your edges and you're ready to go. So you're gonna hit Go. We're used to seeing this message, DQ and Proceed, yes. And now we get the message, there are no patterns that can be sewn. And we're looking at it like, well, yep, yes, there are patterns that can be sewn. I'm gonna click on okay. You'll notice that we have not rolled up the quilt far enough. If I zoom in, there is that little piece, that little tidbit right there hanging underneath the sew zone. So I did not roll up the quilt far enough. So we're gonna roll up our quilt just a little bit more, another bonus lesson in repositioning. So I'm gonna come over, roll up my quilt just a little bit more. I've got plenty of room to work with, so roll that up just a little bit more. I'm gonna move my machine back up to that point, head over to the software and click on the reposition icon. Zoom in, follow down that line, should be pretty close. Click on that same point, apply, done. We'll zoom out, and now you can see you have one full row inside of your sew zone. So if you get the message there are no patterns that can be sewn, make sure you have patterns that are fully encompassed inside of your sew zone. Now we have those pieces hanging off on the left and the right that we need to do a trim on. So I'm gonna select the one row that I wanna work with, which is the row that we're gonna quilt. I'm gonna open up my tools and come over to trim. I have my input of sew head, current selection, because we're doing row by row, not the entire quilt. Clip connect is turned on, and because I'm doing left and right, sides of the quilt, straight lines, vertical lines, I'm gonna do vertical as my option. I'm gonna bring my machine over to the left-hand side of the quilt and place it in the binding area. And on the screen, I will click on invert because anything that's orange will be trimmed out. And we only wanna trim things to the left of our crosshair line. So I'm gonna click on invert. Once the left side patterns are orange, I'll click on accept. And now I need to go ahead and go over and do the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and click on invert just to save myself a step in the, you know, going forward. And I'll take my machine over to the right. You're gonna repeat that same process on the right hand side. So we'll place our machine right hand side binding area and click on accept. I'll click on transform to go back home, save my project. So file, save project, click go. 
We'll click yes to our DQ and proceed message for all the other patterns outside of the sew zone. And now we get to see that green row that's a little shadowed in that gray to tell us we can keep going for this reposition. You'll repeat this process all the way throughout your quilt to have edge to edge success.